Hi, this is Ed with Alaska Bow Hunting Supply. One of the frequently asked questions we often get from customers is uh, how do you tell if the single bevel broadhead is a left bevel or a right bevel? So what I'll do is I'll just give you a, a simple uh, explanation on it. I'll show you how to determine that and also why you would use a left or a right bevel broadhead on the arrow you're shooting. Hope this answers your question. What we have here are two of our single bevel broadheads and they come in right and left bevels and the one here is a Samurai this one is the Maasai. How do you tell the difference if the bevel is a right or left bevel? Just simply pick the broadhead up, point it up and look at the side that's beveled. You can see the bevel here rotate it here. This is a left bevel broadhead and because the bevel causes the broadhead to torque or twist when it hits resistance and animal, it will start putting pressure on this bevel. It'll start rotating. And this other blade will do the same. It'll rotate counterclockwise on a left bevel. Now, this is a uh, samurai, excuse me, a Maasai, but it is a right bevel. You can see the bevel is ground here and on the opposite blade here. So when it meets resistance, the torque is placed on it this way and it rotates clockwise as it uh, passes through an animal. That's basically the difference between the right bevel and the left bevel. Why is it important that you know this? Well, I'm going to explain that next. Arrows are fletched with two basic uh, materials, uh, the plastic veins and the feather fletch. Uh, the most common uh, arrow for the compound shooter is the plastic veined fletched arrow. However, the feather fletch can be shot not only out of a traditional bow, but also a compound bow with equal uh, performance and accuracy. But for sake of explanation, let me just explain a few things about the difference. Most compound uh, arrows purchased today are fletched either straight or they have a slight offset to the right. The leading edge of the vein is just about one degree offset from center. It causes the arrow to rotate this way in a clockwise motion. So consequently, if you're shooting a standard uh, compound arrow, look at how it's fletched. It'll probably be to the right. And if you're going to shoot a single bevel broadhead, choose a broadhead that has the bevel on the right side so that the broadhead will continue uh, rotating in the same direction that the arrow rotates through the air. Okay, so this is a right offset. However, this feather fletched arrow is a left wing and it has a more extreme twist to it called a helical. And if we look at it from the knock end, we can see the twist that takes place. You can see the leading edge of the feather rotates is actually to the left. It causes the arrow in flight to rotate in a counterclockwise motion. Uh, you can get a right wing feather also, but in this case we've got a left wing to show you the difference. What you want to do, if you're shooting single bevel broadheads, buy a broadhead that has the bevel on the left side. So there's no loss of momentum from flying through the air rotating to hitting the animal continuing to rotate counterclockwise. And that is the basic difference between left and right bevel and uh, left and right fletching. The advantages are clear.